Amor Fati. Change your attitude, it can change your life. Amor Fati means love of faith. Amor Fati is a mindset philosophy that was practiced by Stoics. Best explained by Epictetus. I quote, Do not seek for things to happen the way you want them to. Rather, wish that what happens, happens the way it happens. Then you will be happy. It's a mindset that promotes the acceptance of what is, which in itself reduces our capacity to struggle. Because struggle is nothing more than the refusal to accept what is. When you struggle, you resist. And as per Carl Jung's words, that which we resist, resists. Think about it. When you are unhappy about your job, you begin to resist it. You resent it. You complain about how much you hate it. And this negative energy manifests itself into a struggle. You are residing what is because you aren't accepting what is. And as long as you continue to resist the situation, the situation will continue to persist. But if you accept it for what it is, if you practiced a mofati, your attitude will change. You'll say, okay, my job sucks and I want to change it. But I'm here and I've got to stop fighting this. Let me just do the bare minimum and focus my entire energy on looking for a new job. With this new attitude, you stopped resisting. You have accepted where you are and now you have shifted your energy to focus on where you want to go. In essence, that's why so many people struggle to change their life. They focus on what they don't want rather than giving energy to what they do want. How your attitude shapes your perspective. Ammo Fati is the love of fate. It's to say that whatever happens, happens. It's the conscious practice of acceptance as your life events unfold and its power lies in your attitude, which goes on to shape your perspective. If the fire burns, it burns. If the building are brought down to ashes, so be it. My startup failed. That's okay. I've learned so much from this experience and now I'm more equipped it to success in my next venture. My relationship is falling apart. That's okay. To be honest, I don't believe this is the right relationship for me. We will always be faced with obstacles in life. Some will be easy to maneuver. Others will be heart-wrenching and painful. That's not something we can control. What we can control is our attitude towards those obstacles. It's our attitude that goes on to shape our perspective. And our perspective is everything. MOFRT is a mindset you should embrace as it helps you to make the best out of anything that happens to you in life. It empowers you to cultivate an attitude of acceptance. It helps you control and regulate your response to life's good and bad events. You end up taking each moment and embrace it for what it is. What matters to you? Obstacles are not there to stop you from achieving our goals. They are not there to make our life miserable. There is a lesson in every obstacle, but it's up to us to see it. I find that obstacles are there to show up how badly we truly want something. That's what Randy Posh wrote in the last lecture. I quote, The brick walls are there for a reason. The brick walls are not there to keep us out. The brick walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly we want something. So when we face a brick wall, stand in front of it with grace. See it as a challenge, not an obstacle. See it as a path you must forge, a door you must open, not a barricade that's trying to stop you. Change your attitude, it can change your life. Complaining is the enemy of doing. These days, more modern authors write about fate in a similar way. For example, Robert Greene has written, Stop wishing for something else to happen, for a different fate, that is to live a false life. Whenever we find ourselves wishing for something else, it prevents us from accepting the world for what it is, finding a way forward and acting upon it. Be careful about complaining, whining and wishing for things to be different. They anchor us to negativity and prevent us from doing. To end, I'll leave you with a quote from Finch philosopher Albert Camus. A will to live without rejecting anything of life, which is the virtue I honor most in this world. Don't reject anything. Next time you find yourself standing in the rain, don't get annoyed that you are wet. Focus on how it feels and enjoy it. We don't get too many years of experience, so we might as well love what we can. And always remember, Amor Fati, 
love of faith.